Welcome back, my dark minions, to my dark kingdom, where it's ruled by me, the Nightwolf 51. <clears throat> Your dark real Nightwolf 51. Yes, I messed that up, but still. And we're back to Black Arts 2. And if you're wondering why we're at this scene and why Cassia is uh, back to life, let's just say that the video, for some reason, did not record. It didn't record the last video. I don't know why it didn't record. I, yeah, I don't know why. By the time I fin and just to let you know, I was thinking of replaying that mi uh, that part of the story so that you guys can see this. But uh, here's the thing: the last battle was very tough for me. Th not to mention it was it was cheap. That battle was beyond cheap. And just to let you know, before we you accuse me of saying that, oh, why should I do this? And I, I need to tell you why I say that's a cheap battle. One, and before I start off, I just let you know, sorry, having me, sorry, uh, that I was gonna be making the video a little earlier today, this week, but I don't know, but my head was like very fuzzy. I was so dizzy that I wasn't able to do anything. I like my dress moving, my head was freaking give me, it was making me hazy. So sorry that, but uh, right now I should be alright. It's just a little bit, but I'm recovering. I think it's because I've been waking up too early. But whatever. Now back to what I was saying. The battle. If you, the battle was basically me, uh, was basically me trying to uh, f uh, get some crystals for a potion for uh, Cassia's little sister. I think it was. The problem was there. Here's the problem. Is that when I was fighting, I was literally trying to fight the enemy. But here's the thing. The enemy kept spawning in. There was a limit to the enemy, but they kept spawning in. So basically, there was almost a continuous amount of enemies. Added the fact that the shaman has the power to petrify my, uh, my, guy, my characters. Added the fact that the crystals, there's five of them basically heal any enemies that I wound back to max instantly and added with the fact with all the enemies are trying their best to try to kill me it was literally a cheap battle and before you start asking then why don't I just start a crystal beforehand I did do that but here's the thing the second time I tried I just realized that it didn't matter how many crystals I destroyed. The enemy kept regenerating the health to max. Which means the next turn, they're back to full. It didn't matter if there was only four or five crystals or only one. As long as there's only one crystal on the battlefield, the enemy was able to regenerate. Yeah, I know. Added with the fact that the shaman, enemy shaman is able to petrify my units. And with the fact that the enemies kept, kept sending in more units, there was a limit, thankfully, but they kept sending more units. Add that all together, and this battle was beyond cheap. I literally had to put it down to easy mode just to defeat this. And even then, it wasn't easy for me because the enemies still regenerate their health. I may have caused damage, but the enemies still regenerate their health, and the shaman still petrified my characters. Basically, facing the end. Those that enemy shaman was basically a roulette wheel. I'm not joking. I would literally certain end characters would actually petrify each time I did that try again. I literally was lucky that only two of my characters were petrified, and I had to use the strategy of going to the. There was a cart, uh, some sort of bungee cart that I had to go. I literally tried this method. I had to put all my heroes, put it down to easy, and put my characters up to the cart and hold them there on the cart, making sure none of the enemies got on there. Because if there's an enemy on there, they will literally not allow the mission would not finish until that enemy is off that cart. I'm not joking here. And, and it succeeded. Because thankfully, I have only one choice either kill all the enemies or literally hold them off. Thankfully, I killed their flying lizards. They were flying lizards flying dragons that kept coming after me. I killed all of them. I killed three of them. There was one more, but I killed them all. And the reason why is because I w there was an easy and I was able to make more damage. And also, yeah, 
Yeah, like I was able to use their more most powerful attacks and try to kill them. Which basically, yeah, I was lucky. And you're saying that why did I have to do it again on medium or change the media? Like I said, I was lucky. I was actually thinking I should go back and try to because of, after the video was over because I didn't realize it didn't record for some reason. I was actually thinking going back there, but like I said, I was lucky. Two of the characters actually came out of petrification and I used them both. One died, the other was my assassin, which is up there by the cage up above Takate. And he was the only one that destroyed all the crystals. All the enemies were at the other side, trying to kill my ass on the card. And like I said, and I destroyed all the crystals. And like I said before, yes. And if you remembered before, I said that the, no matter how many crystals I destroyed, by the next turn, all the monsters, all the enemies on the battlefield would come to life. I mean, would get back to full health. Yeah. Thankfully, I did it. And I managed to get out of there. Not to mention, I had to get all my heroes on there. It said all heroes. Thankfully, the assassin wasn't considered a hero. So, if any of my heroes fell, I would literally need to finish off the enemy on the battlefield. Like I said, yeah. So, I decided, you know what? I'm not even going to bother. It didn't record, and I'll just explain it in, in the next video, which I am. I'm sorry that you won't be able to see that battle, and also whatever was left was after the battle. I literally it recorded the last part of the battle for some reason, and it was only like 11 minutes long, and that was at before edit. That was like the very end of the battle. Basically, yeah, all that hard work was gone. And like I said, I was lucky that only two of my kids were, th were freaking petrified. If I tried it again, I don't think I'd be that lucky and it would take me longer. So yeah, you know, I don't know what happened. But literally, if anyone here was pl is planning to make a game, word of advice, do not, if I, if you're going to be making a game, make sure, you, here's the, I don't have a problem if you have enemies coming in, as well, can you have enemies coming in until, for, until there's a limit. Or even have the shaman have petrification powers at the same time. But I expect that if I destroy a healing item, that if there's multiple healing items, I expect that if I destroy one, that the healing items, that the healing effectiveness goes down. If I destroy one, it goes down by a few percentages. Basically, since there's five, I guess 70, I guess it'd be 75% gone. Oh wait, no, I don't know how many it would be, but yeah. I think 15 would be that. I think 15% each. I don't know. I would expect a percentage of it to... You can still have the healing thing can easily heal the enemies to their max. Well, not to the max if they're... Not to the, if they're all uh, active on the battlefield. But if I destroy one or deactivate one or turn it to my favor, I expect the crystals to lose its effectiveness. Like only get to a percentage of their health. And I can still kill them off. And the crystals can still heal the enemies, but not to their max. That's what I expect. Clearly. Bisa, I literally had to hold them up. I was running out of Astro Energy for Bor Soberon. My heroes were dying, were about to die, and I had to freaking destroy all the crystals. Like I said, if I'm going to be doing, if you're going to be doing this kind of tactic, I expect the healing items to not be effective. To not, if there is even one crystal on the battlefield, I expect, if I mean, if I destroy even one Chris, uh, healing item, on the battlefield or converter or whatever I expect the healing on the enemy to be lowered the effects of healing the enemy to be lowered not to freaking cheat my ass and make it so that ev that even when one crystal on the battlefield is still on the uh, sorry I'm still I'm still furious of what happened last night that if one crystal is on the battlefield I expect it to only get 50 only a percentage a small health boost not maxed out health every turn I have. Literally, when every time I saw that, I got pissed off every time I turned out because I was literally trying to kill these bastards. And every time I tried to, the healing thing always regenerates them to max. Yeah. So, you're, so yeah. So, I decided not to do it, risk it, and tried to go through that hell again. Sorry that you guys are not going to be able to see that, but we're going to be putting up this episode here, and hopefully you'll be able to, hopefully it will record this time. If not, I don't know what's happening. I'll go to double check it with, a, with Alchemist Beat the next time. Alright.
But seriously, that battle was so cheap. Hopefully that the battles are not going to be as cheap as that. Because literally, I would need to put my uh, difficulty down to easy every time if that happens. And I just remember, I need to put my uh, difficulty down the uh, back up to normal. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. And just before, uh, and I like to say, we're actually trying to get potions for, our, for Cassie's little sister. And we're actually going to go after a merchant who sells, who makes mushrooms that we need for the potion. And we just forced Niobe to be a Tales player. And we're going to be heading up to that fight. Alright, let's go. We're going to leave for the Necromaster fight. Hopefully we get to take a man and hopefully we get to get back to the main campaign so we can destroy. But still, let's go. Where does this Necromancer live? Well, we're only gonna get one hero. Oh my gosh, I sort of got a I sort of got this better not kick me in the ass. Alright, let's go. Ooh. Look at that. Now let's see what's the oh my goodness. Okay, let's see here. Oh my gosh, we literally have to We have to bull rush them. Oh my god, do you see how many enemies are here? Hopefully we get to recruit him. I want to recruit him. I want the undead on my side. So let's see. This better not be a cheap battle. Okay, so let's see. How am I supposed to do this? Actually, how am I? Oh, he's probably going to activate it and he's going to open this. No, he's not. How do we get through? The only way through here is through here. Okay, I'm just scanning the battlefield. Just seeing what am I supposed to do here. I swear to God, this better not have the infinity, the infinite amount of enemies. So there's gonna be enemies here. Yeah, the only way this is gonna happen is if he activates that, and then he opens the other side to bring in the other monsters in here. Uh, hopefully, we get to recruit him. I want an army of the undead alongside me. Yeah, there's nothing. That door better not open. I swear to God. All right, we'll figure it out as we go. All right. So we're going to try to kill these guys off first, and then we're going to travel back upwards towards there. May oh my god, there's too many archers. We're going to see how we're going to do this. Alright, let's go. I'll put Cassie here. Nakata here. Oh, Zubran right here. Formun right here, and you right here. So it's 30 toadstools. 30, yes. Thank you, son of nobody, for reminding me yet again. Yeah, which just seems a lot to me, you know, for a single antidote. Is my life not worth the hassle? So I can... Oh, oh my lord. I... S now that I think about it, I swear to God. Okay, that's good. Can we recruit him? Okay, so this is where we need to be. We need to find a way to open this. We need to kill all these guys over here. We need to do something fast. We're charging to the neck. We're going to charge straight to the guy. Straight to the... Yeah. Dan, there's too many boxes that can tumble on us. We have to bull rush them. The fuck are they doing? Okay, there's a lot of enemies here, but what are they doing? Looks like he's busy fighting those guys. Alright then, like I said, we're going to be bull rushing this. I'll be back if there's anything else, alright? Who's there? I'm just saying, maybe Niobe's hatching some plan. Maybe. Don't you have some monsters to slay? Oh, what the hell? Can you please stop repeating that? Okay, she's gonna that bastard's gonna repeat the spell. 
Oh, that's nice. All right, that's nice. That's very nice. Well, it looks like he's noticed us. Hopefully, he doesn't keep repeating that damn spell. All right. How much damage this will do? Oh, he's dead. All right, Takata, you're gonna go after this dude. Okay, that's good. But they're still coming after us, so we have to destroy everyone up ahead. Oh, that's a bunch of BS right there. Now that's a bunch of bull! So base, so they basically had... Why can't I flip mine? Oh, hell no! Are you fucking kidding me? That is bullshit. You guys saw that? That fucking thing just came back to life. Ah, shit, we're on a time limit here. If they keep attacking, we're not gonna be able to get through this. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. Takate, oh my gosh, are you, t are you kidding me? I can't hit these monsters. Oh my god, are you serious? Alright, looks like we're into, we're into the hard way. Just caught the distraction. Oh, for Pete's sakes, stay fucking dead! Oh my god, I'm getting sick and tired of these fucking dead um, uh, undead creatures. First of all, how am I supposed to get to here? Am I supposed to like get a secret entrance or something? Oh my god, this is a pain in my goddamn ass right now. It, it's literally a pain in my ass right now. Oberon is now petrified. Uh, fantastic. Oh my god. No, the, the real question is, how am I supposed to, am I supposed to break open a wall or something? Because right now it's kind of getting very, very tedious right now. Let's see. I... Do I have to kill every single one of these enemies? Because that's the only thing I can think of. And this guy keeps getting the fuck up. Stay down! Over B6, how many times do I have to kill these freaking bastards? This is what I get. Undead. How? No, the real question is how am I supposed to get to this side? How am I supposed to freaking. Am I supposed to destroy a pillar or something? Like destroy a wall? Have the monsters get up and running? Do I have to jump over a freaking wall? Do I see. Nothing here. I, I don't see anything here. It's just a pain in my ass. You guys, this this is uh, what I think. It doesn't show me how to get through here. There's the lever, but there's also a lever on that side, but do I have to like break a wall or something? This wall is like teetering. Do I have to break stat? Do I have to make this fall over? My gosh. 
I'm gonna try to destroy this one because that's the only thing I can think of here right now. I may need to kill the necromancer just to stop this hellhole from happening. Okay, you need to go over here and see if you can do anything over here. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, we lost uh, Takate. Zorba is like currently knocked out right now. Kate is like out. Okay, now it shows it. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Okay, we're gonna try to get through this. <laughs> hey, how you doing? My name is Ka- Hey, I'm, hey well, how you doing? I'm Cassia. I just came in to see the neighborhood. Going to kill your ass for pissing me the hell off! We must have 30 by now. All right, let's get out of here. Ah, oh, good. Thank goodness. We're done. So where's the escape route? I swear to God, I have to go back over here. Where's the escape route? Where is it? Oh, wait. I just realized that Takate's down. Never mind. It won't matter even if I make the escape route. If I don't have all the heroes there, there is no point. All right, we're all going back and we're all going to kill those last kill this. Thank you for leaving. We killed the Necromancer, unfortunately, but let's go. All right, Pia, we're back and finally. Hi, we're done. Oh my goodness. Whatever, I don't... What the hell is this? Okay. Oh my goodness. With the, with the Necromancer reviving them and with everything happening, we have the monster on the other side. It was like hectic. It was freaking hectic. Oh, killing the Necromancer finally ended this shit. And since the Kate was, on, was defeated... Because I didn't know skeletons are immune to sp spears. Which I think it would have been obvious. But he still could have hit for the head. But still. Oh, Alright. We're good. We're done. We can get out of here. Let's go. Since Cassia returned from her expedition. Foul smelling smoke had risen from her tent every night. The mercenaries were curious. But the silent legion would not ask questions. Of course. Uh, let's go see if Niobe freaking did anything and all that crap. Since it's part of the story, since it's part of the story, I guess we could, uh, I can make an exception for the story ones. Unless they're like side quests for the characters, then there's no point in them. Alright, hold on, let me just save. Alrighty, then let's go talk to Niobe. Let her go or hang her. Let us hang her. There's no need. String her up. Bye bye. Takate. There, no, he's done. So what now? I guess I'm gonna see if any of these guys will proceed the storyline. Okay, I don't see anything that's gonna advance the storyline. I, I don't know. I bet this better not be a freaking bug in the game. Alright, but whatever. I guess this is where I'm gonna end it. Oh, 
scared. That battle is sinking. Well, at least it wasn't as cheap as I thought, but I did have to figure out how to destroy the damn pillar so I can get through. Too bad we didn't recruit the necromancer. That would have been great. No, he's dead. She's not going to be a business. I kept the... Uh, what was his name? I forgot. The tree guy. I'm keeping all the guys to, for myself. Unless they, betray, unless they betray me then, no matter. I need it for control. And I'm guessing, yeah, let's say, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna be editing this video and hopefully I'll get out today. Oh, my son, man, I swear to God. And plus sides, I stopped my head, decided to get lightheaded again. Uh, well, because it was getting like a little bit intense, but whatever. I'm glad we went through this. And so unfortunately we couldn't get the Necromancer, but yeah, that's about it. What else? What else? Yeah, that's about it. Alrighty then. Yeah, nothing else. And we'll continue. And if this, if something does continue the storyline, I will let you know in the in the next uh, video. All right. And hopefully this video recorder, or well, I guess you wouldn't be able to see it anyway. But still. All right. Like, subscribe. Like, press the like, subscribe down below. Comment down below. Oh my God, my head. And press the little uh, bell and the subscribe button so whenever you be notified whenever my videos is. But like as always, make sure you check my channel and whenever I, uh, uh, some like whenever you can to see when I, like uh, sorry. But like always, make sure you check my channel whenever you can or whenever you feel like it, and yeah, and see whether or not that I've been updated or not. Uh, so because you know how YouTube is not putting up our videos and all that well crap and yada yada and make sure and also share my videos so I can uh, out there so I can recruit more minions to my cause to my dark army shut up tablet I swear to god that might be my mascot but whatever uh, yeah and that's it like subscribe down below comment down below press the bell yeah press the thumbs up button all that crap yeah share my videos and that's about it I think I'm forgetting something but I don't know oh my head my head is like really I'm starting to get lightheaded. Hopefully I'll be able to get the video up now, today. If not, then tomorrow. But whatever. Thank you for joining me, and yeah, that's about it. Alright, my dark minions dismissed!